Hello friends. In this video I'm going to connect the outlet of the fridge with the box of filters to the pump. I'll do the electric connections. Uh, I have to make a, a staircase for the turtles to be able to get up onto their basking space. And we're going to fine tune little details. Uh, also we had some accidents on the way and those accidents I won't leave them out. I'm going to show them so you see things that can happen and you don't make the same mistakes I have made. So let's go and see the, the video. Okay, I finished the outlet. Now this outlet, first of all I have to put some silicone around there to seal it well. I have to put PTFE tape on this end and then we have to stick this pipe onto the set it end so it stays in place. Now this outlet takes the water from inside the pool down here. It will fit in perfectly with this pipe that takes the water into the filter box. You have to stick it here with special glue for PVC and we have to tighten these bowls to get them well sealed inside the fridge. <coughs> but before we do that I have to explain you how this works but we have to do one little other thing. When we start the motor we need to have water inside the box of filters. We'll have the water at the level of the outlet and in the inlet we'll have water at the same level of the filter box because they're connected directly there. Hmm? So when this pump starts pumping, it will gather all the water inside the filter box and send it up. If this length of pipe here and above uh, has a volume bigger than the volume of water inside the, the filter box, we will be out of water before it starts falling in da back down into the filter box. So. We have to know how many, vol how many liters of water we have in this length and in this length. And when we start the motor, we have to add that <coughs> volume of water as it starts pumping the water. Hmm? So that we eventually have this level of water here and water going all the way around without leaving the filter box uh, dry. Hmm? Now, if in the water pump would stop because it's a short circuit or someone accidentally pulls out the plug or whatever, hmm, this pump doesn't have a, a, a special uh, valve to stop the water flowing back. So all the water in this pipe will either fall into the pool or it will come back into the pump and into the filter box and will overflow because this filter box isn't sealed. It has this space here where the water, if it climbs up too far up, it will start leaking out and it's going to wet the wood and it's going to uh, wet the pump and everything. 
So the first thing we have to do here is put a, a little pipe at about this level to keep the level of water in the filter box at that height. If water comes in more water than what it, is, uh, it can take, the water will have to leave as is shown here. That pipe will throw the water out into the garden. Hmm? So we have to make now a hole in that box and fix that pipe before we start connecting it to the uh, outlet and inlet of the fridge. This is the inlet of water to the aquarium. I'm not going to connect it yet so we can see something. If we add up the section of each one of these holes, we should get the same or less than the section of the tube. And suppose that the pump fills the tube with water, it should distribute water along the whole length of the tube and water should be coming out at the end over there. Now if we don't have water at the end of the, over there and it stops around here, then the pump isn't doing its work properly. It isn't throwing enough water. And that's something we'll have to observe when we start the pump and start filling it with water. Okay, we finished connecting all the tubing and uh, put a bit of artificial grass there. And now we'll, we'll start filling up the, the aquarium. The first thing we have to do is fill up the filter box, pushing water down the, the outlet. Once the filter box is full of water, we'll have droplets of water coming out of that tube at the end of there. And then we stop filling the, the filter box with water. There we got water coming out, so we stop filling up the, the filter box, we just fill up the rest. First problem discovered while well, filling the fridge, we have a leak here. It is not the adhesive, it didn't fail, it's the, the threads, the water is coming through the thread. That means that uh, it is not well sealed on the inside of the fridge. Hmm? So we'll have to take all the water out and seal it again. Hmm. However, I'm going to get the pump moving to see if that works at least. And, uh, well, that's something we have to fix. It's starting to fill, it's just about to overflow there. And we should see water coming out through that pipe. The drip that we see there is water that uh, from the leak that fills up the the 
filter box and is dripping but we should see a big flow when the water overflows the outlet there we it's full huh? okay I connected the pump temporarily just like that to see how it works I don't have leaks in this part and uh, the water arrives up here in the inlet at a nice volume and it covers all the both sections so we can say that it's working quite well perfectly I would say and I only have to fix that uh, leak we saw uh, at the beginning that it still is leaking and I have to take everything apart to be able to fix that I made a mistake when I installed the outlet I installed it the wrong way up and water is dripping through down here it's not a problem of the design it's a problem of the installer I installed it the wrong way up the thing is I installed it the wrong way up I installed it like this with a nut at the top pressing doing pressure on the, the seam but as it, this is the nut and it has thread in there the water seeps in through the thread through the nut and down here and then drips down I should have installed it the other way up if I seal it here with silicone the water won't be able to seal sip in and we tighten it from below so what I have to do now is I have to turn around and store it again I also had to modify this part because I discovered that when I use the pump to remove the water quicker it uh, the pump finds resistance in the hose so it uh, sends the water back into the filter box and back into the pool so I had to cut here and uh, separate what is the overflow of the uh, filter box and the pump to the, the garden. During the night or day in the morning, somebody gave a great pull to this hose and broke the the pump, broke the plastic of the pump, and that has there's no solution for that except find a, a pump that is the same as this one and change that piece or change the whole pump. And if the pump is different to this one, we will have to modify this to change the, these connections, uh, 
the design, all that. Okay, I found another pump and it works okay. Haven't tested it with water yet, but we'll see that in a while. Now, uh, I installed electric current for the pump and for the water heaters. But before I fill it with water and test everything, I need to make a, a staircase for them to be able to climb up onto the basking places. And that's what I'm going to do now, on this side and on this other side also. The idea is the following. We have to make a mold of extended polystyrene or styrofoam if you prefer and over this uh, base of polystyrene we shall uh, stick these tiles, ceramic tiles. Now the polystyrene we have to seal it perfectly well with all the borders with all these cutouts and pushed inside there yeah, so that there's no possibility that the water gets in there. The styrofoam doesn't uh, react with water, it won't be toxic. Uh, it's absolutely neutral. However, the styrofoam is formed by little balls like these. And these little balls, if a turtle uh, eats them, they'll go into his gut and many of these inside the gut will really be uh, dangerous and uh, deadly for turtles. So we mustn't let the turtles bite on this stuff, so we have to cover it well. Hmm? Now we can put these uh, tiles only on the staircase and leave this open so that the water in there is renewed together with the rest of the water. But I believe that that would be very, uh, probably the turtles will break it. The turtles will pull them off. So I don't think that is the best idea. It's a staircase that is just made with tiles like this and open here. Okay, I finished installing the star foam. It's sticking there now. Now I'm going to uh, cut the tiles to size. Hmm? These tiles, these cuts, are exactly one fourth of a big tile. I cut it through the middle there, and I cut it through the middle here. So that gives us two uh, tiles, two cuts of tiles, with a cut over here and over here and we put those cuts against the wall so that the turtles won't cut themselves because it's easy to cut yourself there hmm? and the soft side on the outside where the turtles will go by so I'll have two tiles two cuts on this side and the other two cuts that have the cut on the other side will go on the other side of the of the pond where I have the staircase on the other way around so the cuts will be towards the walls and the soft side towards the turtles
Okay, we'll start filling the pool now. First of all, we'll fill the filter box. Filter box is full. Now we have to fill the pool. There's no water leak in the outlet for the time being. With the pool half full. So it's quite promising. We can see two different sections here. One section where the water is very still, doesn't move much, not much noise. And another section which moves a lot, very noisy. And this is given by the amount of water that comes in on both sections. Much more water here much less water here. Now this pump seems to be not as strong as the other one. Apparently the amount of water coming in is less. But still it works quite well. Well, finally we finished the building of this aquarium, this garden pond, we've got the pump going, water coming in, we are heating it up with some heaters, we've got the turtles inside there, apparently they're quite happy with what they've got now. and uh, they're adapting to the new environment. The other turtle... <laughs> Exploring every little thing and we still have some details here like uh, some different plants, we have to bring some instruments like thermometers, we have to bring another heater because one heater isn't enough, maybe a bigger heater and uh, but at least we got everything working and it's fine. Now, Probably we'll have to make another video later on in the future for all the details that we have to add on to have them perfectly happy with their new place. Uh, I hope you liked this video and if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it and thanks for watching. Bye bye.